<laughs> it is Tuesday live session at three. Um, we're just waiting for Instagram to make a connection. And then we can start talking about this week's live session and this week's topics. Um, yeah, guys, so uh, very excited for this week's topics. I have some stuff we're going to talk a bit about. And we are live on Instagram. We are going to talk a bit about success and failure and the fact that you create your own reality. Okay. But today we are from Pilansberg, uh, close to Sun City. Um, if you guys know where that is, it's a nature resort. Um, taking a bit of a short holiday, it's important to take short holidays just to get yourself in another space and another mindset. Um, but yeah, taking a short holiday tomorrow, we're going to look for some um, big five animals and see how it goes. So, you know, just check out the pages and we will keep you up to date. Yeah, so you can see in the back, we're camping a bit having some fun um, so yeah we are here at Pilansberg so on just on that note um, guys as, as entrepreneurs um, you're always you know driving your business pushing forward um, working towards your goals managing other people and it takes a lot of internal resources the whole time um, and uh, yeah, that that takes that takes a lot of energy and drive, and sometimes you need to make time to refuel, okay, to take energy from the outside and put it back in, because um, especially in entrepreneur with entrepreneurs and people that owns their own businesses, you know that you have to create the work, you have to create the sales, you have to manage the team, you have to push towards your dreams and your goals all the time. Grant Martin, thanks for joining in. Armand Graf, thanks for joining in. Zeni Universe, thanks for joining in. Uh, what is up this week? We are from Pilansberg, um, close to Sun City. And we, today we're going to talk about a few awesome topics. Um, so, guys, Grant, Armand, Zeni, I don't know about the people on Facebook. What's up? What are you busy with? How's your businesses doing? And um, what questions do you have? Um, about your entrepreneurial journey, your business, or your side hustle. Today I'm talking my piece, uh, but what I want to talk about is success and failure does not define you. Okay. So guys, send your questions through as we go along, and we can answer them live, and um, we can talk about it. So, success and failure does not define you. Okay. The fact that you had success yesterday does not mean that you will have success today. Okay? The fact that you had success um, yesterday does not mean that you will have success today. And the fact that you had failure yesterday does not mean that you will have failure today. That is very, very important. Uh, SA Fan Base Marketing, thanks for joining in. Um, that is very, very important to understand because a lot of people say, look, um, I am a failure because I failed at this. Or I am a success because I was successful at this. And it's not you that's the failure or the success. And if you keep that in mind, you'll always stay humble and you'll always stay realistic. You, you won't feel that you're a failure and you won't be down in the dumps. And you'll also not feel like you're this superstar that's, you know, truly, you know, successful from the inside or whatever. You always understand that success and failure is just the result of a recipe okay it's just the result of a recipe so some people in life have found the correct recipe and other people haven't so let's take um, the analogy of a baker okay so the baker is in the bakery okay he has a recipe that he follows with the right amount of flour sugar you know all of the vanilla essence and everything i'm not a baker so i don't know all of the ingredients um, but all of the ingredients are on the list okay and now he has his oven and he mixes all of the ingredients in and he has all of the ingredients ready and he puts the the the, the ingredients in the oven and then on the other side a perfect cake comes out Tian, thanks for joining in. Everyone, thanks for joining in. We're talking a bit today about success and failure. And I'm telling the story about a baker that has the recipe. 
Okay, he has a recipe on the side, he mixes all of the ingredients, he puts the recipe in the oven and on the other side he gets a perfect cake, okay, that he can eat and everybody can enjoy. But what if the recipe was wrong? What if, if there was too much sugar and not enough vanilla essence and, you know, um, all of the things are mixed up and it's not, it's not perfect, the recipe is not perfect. Then if he puts the recipe in the oven, on the other side, he will not get a perfect cake. He will get a flop, something that he can't share with his friends and family. And, you know, nobody would enjoy the cake and everybody would be unhappy. But does that mean that the baker is a bad baker? No. Does that mean that the baker is a failure? No. The recipe was wrong and therefore the cake was a failure, but it doesn't mean that the baker is a failure. The baker can go back anytime, change the recipe and implement the new recipe, put it in the oven and then you will get a new result. So if you change the recipe on this side, you will get a different result on the other side. I think that's quite easy guys. So, so it's, it's the baker. He has a recipe on this side, he gets the result on this side. The fact that he has the correct recipe helps him to create the, the, the perfect cake. But if he has the wrong recipe, he'll get a flop on the other side. Now this applies the same to you. Every day you can work on your recipe and you can change it and you'll get a different result tomorrow. And the result does not determine who you are. If it's a failure or if it's a success, it doesn't mean that you are a failure or a success. It just means that you've got your recipe wrong or you've got your recipe right. So the most successful people in life has figured out the recipe. Okay, they know the correct recipe. For example, studying for a test. They know the correct amount of energy, time, understanding, all of these things that they have to put in. Work summaries, um, pre-tests that they have to fill in. They know the correct recipe of all of those elements. And then when they go into the test and they do their test, they get the result. But that was determined by the recipe. And people that does not do that good in school or in a test does not have the correct recipe of studying, re rehearsing, reiterating, um, making summaries, you know, all of that stuff. So that's a practical example. But guys, the, the, the successful people in life has just figured out what the correct recipe is. Now I want to challenge you to go out and figure out what the correct recipe is for what you're doing. And it's going to take a lot of iterations. And that's the key. Some of the guys that's very successful. Let's take the number one. Um, let, let's take Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes AMG's F1 team. He's been winning uh, a lot of championships in a row now. Um, he's been around the track countless times. Countless times he's driven around the track and he's figured out his recipe. He figured out that on this corner I need to go a little bit closer. On this corner I can go a little bit faster. On this corner I have to break earlier. And that's his recipe that he's figured out every time. And he's done a million iterations of that recipe. And eventually he has the perfect recipe. If I get in a race car today and try to take that beast around the track, I promise you the result will not be the same. But if I'm able to spend years, I think Lewis Hamilton started when he was only seven or eight years old in a go-kart. If I took years and years of iteration, 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 and I figure out the perfect recipe, then I would also be able to generate the perfect result. So guys, it's all about putting in the effort, putting in the work, iterating, iterating, finding out what the perfect recipe is that works for you. Finding out that perfect recipe and then changing your result to get the perfect result. So guys, success and failure does not determine who you are. It just shows you what type of recipe you have. And you can take your recipe, change it any day, any time, and you'll get a better result tomorrow. Cool guys, that's all from my side. We've lost some um, connection on, on Instagram, so I'm going to continue the session here. We're just going to reload here. Uh, we had a lot of viewers, like 15 viewers on Instagram today. Um, so guys, uh, 
Thank you for joining in this week's live session. If you have any questions, we get a lot of questions throughout the week um, via email or direct messaging. So send us some questions on email or direct messaging if you have, and we'll take our time to answer it. Normally, I work till late at night, so normally it's after hours, um, let's say 12, 1-ish, and then I'll respond and um, answer your question to the best that I can. And guys, thank you for following and thank you for supporting and thank you for um, sticking with the journey. Uh, Millionaire 22 is growing rapidly and there's so, so much cool things coming your way. I'm um, excited stuff. So thank you for sticking with us and following the journey. We're making a difference. I'm so excited. So guys, have a great week and have a great Tuesday. Awesome.